Hey, good morning and welcome to 58 Days of Compassion. If you'd open your Bible with me to uh, Matthew 25, um, verse 31, it's talking about uh, the final judgment, the sheep and the goats. And you see what happens here in, in Matthew 25 is um, Jesus is, is talking, he just told some, some hard parables and he's saying, this is what it's going to be like at the end when, when I come back, I'm going to separate people like a shepherd separates sheep from the goats. Sheep on the right, goats on the left. And, and the sheep, to the, the people, he says, and pick this up in verse 31, or 34, Then the king says to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my father, take your inheritance, the kingdom prepared for you since the creation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you invited me in. And I needed clothes, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you looked after me. I was in prison, and you came to me. And the, and the people on his right questioned him and said, When did we see you, thir Lord, when you were thirsty or, or hungry or naked or in prison? And the king said, Jesus said, He will reply, Truly I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. I think that's, that's chief in what we're talking about here in 58 Days of Compassion and all our messages is that we need to have compassion on people. Jesus is saying that's what his believers follow him. If you look at, at the couple verses after that, he's now saying to the, the goats, you didn't take care of me. You didn't t give me water. You didn't give me food. You didn't give me clothes. You didn't show compassion on me. And so I think, Hope family, that as we've gone through this, this series, we've seen Jesus' heart. His heart is that we care for one another. And when we care for, for somebody that's having problems or somebody that looks different from us or somebody that's been oppressed and we look after them that's Jesus own heart that's when Jesus calls us his own and I think that's as we, as we sum this up as we look at it when when um, James talks about this in James chapter 2 when he says faith without works is dead that's what Jesus is just telling us right here if we don't have compassion on on our fellow human beings we're not part of his family and so I think that's a, a good challenge for us that should drive us forward into caring for those around us because Jesus is expecting us to be his hands and feet. And I know it's hard sometimes, but, but let's pray about this today that Jesus would just help us. Lord Jesus, we thank you that you have called us your own, that we're some of your sheep. Lord, help us to respond with love and compassion when we see those around us hurting, Lord Jesus. Whatever that looks like, whatever of our time, whatever of our resources, whatever of our energy that you require, Lord, that we be able to give that to you and serve you by serving other people. Lord, we just ask that you'd help us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey, have a good day, everyone. They will know you by your